the way i look at bangalore i love and the city has given me so much to thousands of young entrepreneurs such as myself young uh, people moving into bangalore from different cities even uh, you are a big aspiration to almost every single one of them all of them uh, i believe at the core of any city are the people not the roads not the infra not the problems that one typically talks about uh, bangalore has created that unique nuance culture a combination of people that in in culmination make the city what it is if you were to chart out bangalore's trajectory over the next 5 years or the next 10 years what do you think bangalore is doing right what do you think bangalore is doing wrong and how does it thrive over the next decade well uh, bangalore i believe contributes about 35 to 37% of the total software exports from india so what that means is you are looking at about 75 billion dollar us from just bangalore because if you looked at 200 billion dollars as the total export from india 75 would be the thing now i'm not even getting into other areas expertise uh, uh, like you have in other areas but what is it that we can do to make bangalore even more attractive or the following one i found during my 30 years as the ceo and the executive chairman that the maximum percentage of local people that you can employ in an industry like software services is about 60% at karnataka it, at that time it was about 50% maybe a few other state it might have been 60 so what does it mean it means that the rest 50% of the talent will inevitably come from come from other states in india maybe a small percentage from the developed countries etc so the first task of a good public governance system for bangalore to become even stronger is we have to provide a you know total freedom to start english medium schools whether we like it or not because you know i have met lot of very important people in different areas they all have sent their children to english medium school i haven't uh, come across anybody who is very important who is either is you know, any in any area who sent his children to to kannada medium school i am i am you know i am a kannadiga i speak kannada i enjoy reading uh, you know sl bairappa shivram karan my own wife many that is not the issue but the reality is you asked a question what is it that we need to do so that bangalore becomes even more successful second i think we have to improve our infrastructure with a sense of alacrity you know let me give you one example it may not be very palatable to say it here but i will say it. in 2004 the chinese government came to know that we were looking for starting a development center in china 
so the mayor of shanghai invited me to his place of course you know very sophisticated fellow excellent it's almost like a palace his his official thing to his house for breakfast and he asked me what do you want i said look i want a land at right in the center of pudong i want about 25 acres and he said of course they do their work before meeting said i have identified we have identified three la- three pieces of land you kindly go and see and by tomorrow evening 5 pm we will give you the letter of allotment and possession and that happened now the reality is that yes china may not be our friend today i i accept all of that that is for our political leaders who will handle china the way it should be handled all of that i am nobody there i have no uh no locus standi to comment on the geopolitical issues i am only talking about it from the dimension of taking quick decision so i think we have for example completing the electronic city metro completing the metro to other parts where there are a lot of uh, companies all these have to be taken up on a priority the people in those in that infrastructure industry must work three shifts they should not work just one shift come at 11 am 10 fellows sitting there and then go at 5 pm at least on the electronic city road that's what i see i may be completely wrong but but elsewhere elsewhere in the nations that have high aspiration people work i have seen two shifts definitely two shifts because i would return around midnight and i have seen people working uh, you know as if they 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 were going to disappear tomorrow morning so i cannot while i cannot vouch for three shifts there but definitely i can vouch for two shifts now we want to be better than all those countries why don't we say we our people will work three shifts ask them what are the requirements for them to complete that thing by their workers working three shifts provide them that so i think there is a little bit of uh, uh these things that can be done by our uh, uh leaders and if we did that then i have no doubt why india cannot grow uh even faster than china Uh, not just the growth alone because we have our base our base is only about 3 whatever 3.5 whereas china is 9 19 trillion but we will catch up with china and hopefully one day we can all take but that requires taking quick decisions making sure that all hurdles for entrepreneurs like you and you and uh, others today i am not an entrepreneur removed as if there is no tomorrow and then i think i think we too we too can experience that.